Hi, welcome to your psychic reading. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I'm going to pull cards for you now. If this reading resonates with you, please like and comment for me and, and, and let us know. So I already mixed the cards up. I haven't pulled them yet. So I'm going to pull about five cards for you for this reading. In my mind, I'm seeing the, the King of Wands or the King of Rods. So I have a feeling this reading is going to be about, or one of the themes will be about an important person in your life. So let's see, one, two, oops, I got two here, or three here, or four here. Okay, I think I got, oh my goodness, all right. Well, okay, so firstly, this is the card that I'm seeing in my mind, only I, I, I pulled this reverse. All right, there, there, there's a lot of energy here. So let's start out, this could be male or female, but I think for a lot of you, it's male. Now. You know, hundreds or even thousands of people are going to see this reading. So it'll mean something different to different people. For some of you, this is going to connect more with your work or, or career. But I have a feeling a lot of you, it's a personal reading and spirit saying yes. So a lot of you, this is more like a romantic, a personal thing, maybe a friendship. But there's been problems. There's been strains. And it seems like the other person's been kind of pulling away a little bit. I get the feeling for a romantic situation that you've been hearing either hearing or sensing a little bit too much about the other person's ex. I feel like the other person may have or, or you may have some issues that are coming up around things like child support from an ex. Um, there's at least one. I, I, I feel like I'm seeing a younger male figure also. So I think there's somebody that has at least one son that's involved or, or, or that that's involved. It also feels like that this may be a situation where somebody's been in your life and kind of out of your life and in your life again because I'm seeing like moving in, the moving out. And um, as and with this card, this is really about disagreements, about clashes, about, about competition. And you know, as I'm talking, I just feel like spirits saying, this person needs to really get their you-know-what together. They're not being considerate toward your feelings right now. And you're going to need to basically draw some better boundaries. That doesn't mean to, to be negative or, 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 to, um, or to cut the person off, but don't allow yourself to be... I don't know what the right words are, kind of the butt end of, of, of semi-abusive behavior or, or emotional or verbal abuse or stuff like that. It's more like that they tend to take things out on you when they're frustrated. And I think that you've reached the end. So this is really kind of a message of speaking up. Otherwise, with the tower card, it's just going to blow up. If you don't speak up and deal with situations as they come up with this person or anybody, you can't tend to reach a boiling point. It's not really good for your health to hold things in. And then there, there's a big blow up. So that can be avoided. I also have a feeling that the person may just start to um, lay down some truths about things or, or things that, that you may not, not want to hear. But... At the end of the day, I, I think with this tower card, you may have experienced like, like, like a separation or a blow up or the person just kind of pulled away or whatever. But this is more like an offer card. To me, this feels like th there's been things that just haven't been dealt with in this situation. I mean, honestly, from what I'm feeling, I, I don't like the way this person's been treating you. I don't think that means that they're a bad person. I just think they need to be a little bit more respectful and that you need to, again... To if I'll put it this way, if they don't know what your boundaries are and what's okay or what's not okay, you can't expect them to abide by that. So you have to be very clear about what what's okay and what's not. A lot of you are starting to do that, and initially that might cause a problem. Initially that might cause the person to be a little bit more negative or, or to back up. Well, good, if that's the case. They'll get it after a while, and if not, you know what? Time to move on to somebody else. And this Four of Cups, and then there's the Seven of Cups, and then there's the Seven of Pentacles also. Fours and Sevens. Sevens means you need to be more grounded. Fours means you need to think outside the box more. If the situation isn't working, whether it's romantic or friendship, or if this goes more into a work situation or whatever, well, guess what? Somebody else is interested. You, whoever this person is, they're not the only game in town. Somebody else is interested. And I feel like you're going to start to talk to somebody soon if you're not already. Not necessarily in a romantic way, but just kind of feeling things out a little bit. 
And, you know, as I get back to this card, I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is often about harvesting things. It almost feels like there either has been or there may be a potential blow up of not a per necessarily a permanent separation, but a pulling away or stuff like that. Um, but this is also a harvest card. So this is about, you know, kind of rebuilding things and slowly getting back in into this. And with the Seven of, of Cups also, yeah, th there's a lot that, that may be on your mind, a, a lot to work out. Now, if you can talk to the person, if you can work through a few things, if you can allow them, sometimes people will be negative if, if they're not speaking up also, if they're holding resentment. This is really, really important. Communication has to happen. You know, again, you know, the, the feeling with the Seven of Cups is that, well, you know, if this isn't going to work out, um, something else will. Uh, not to put all my eggs in one basket and all that stuff. But like I was saying, I think that the, that the person, there's been a, a pulling away. But this also makes me feel like there's going to be more communication and I think within, since seven comes up, seven months, no, seven weeks. I think for a lot of you, this is going to be more about like like seven weeks or so that, that for things to really come full circle. Um, but in, in any event, the idea is hold your ground, be honest and truthful. Sometimes things just are, come up and people act and react negatively. They, they pull away. Angry words are said. This is your, not wake-up call, but your lesson to be in your heart, to be in your compassion, to work on non-reactivity. Or if you do react to things because you're human, just kind of step back and observe that and not feed into the reaction. Again, you know, this is like feeding into negative reactions. And this is like tearing the whole structure down. But when you tear that down, then you can rebuild, force build on a stronger foundation. So if you've been going through something with somebody, if there's been like a breakup, one of the, the things that, that spirit is saying is you may want to consider a little bit of time off from the person to really get a handle on your own life. But whatever the case, this can be rebuilt and things are going to work out okay. So that's what I have for you in today's reading. I love you. And if you'd like to check out another reading, um, I'll post one uh, below or or, um, or it'll be on the end screen over here. <laughs> I'm forgetting. I'm not in short form. I'm in long form format. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Bye.